I'm Dr. McCloudy Head and I teach Religion and Philosophy here at King's and I think that our intention with Religion and Philosophy, so RP, is to do two things. So the R is stands, for, stands for the religion and we want our pupils to be religiously literate. So obviously we're in the shadow of the cathedral here. We teach them about Christianity but all of the other world religions as well like Buddhism and Hinduism and Judaism, Islam, Sikhism. So they understand religion even if they're not religious themselves. So that's the R of RP. Uh, the P, so philosophy. Uh, we want them to be able to think. We don't mind really what they think, but just that they're able to think. And not just to express an opinion on things, but be able to do so using reason and evidence. So the big questions like, is there a God? Is there life after death? What is real? What is good? How do you know? So we explore all of these without necessarily giving them the answer hoping that they will come to their own view and learn how to debate and discuss these things. Hi, I'm William Head. I am an upper six student and I am studying religious studies, politics and chemistry. With this subject RS, I feel very strongly about it. It's been a big part of my life. Um, I think my favorite part of it would almost definitely be this kind of debating thing we do. I mean, obviously there's the essays, which is an important part of it because that's how the exams work. But I think the debating means that you can helps open up your mind to other people what other people think. Because I think it's important to understand the counter arguments almost more than the actual arguments. My name's Jess. Um, I'm an opposite and I study politics, religion and philosophy and German. It complements my politics because we study uh, lots of ideologies such as liberalism which ties in with utilitarianism which we study a lot in terms of ethics, part of the RS A level. And obviously with the German there's quite a lot of German philosophers so that ties in quite nicely and there might be a few words that German philosophers say and then I'm luckily I can translate that and think well if he said that and I can interpret it without having to find the direct English translation. Most of my life when I was younger I've always been taught that this is what the Bible says, I'm so and so wrote this, but studying this subject it's really made me question, like really was that written, who really wrote that, um, like the authorship um, of all the Gospels as well that I found very very interesting.